Yeah. Sunday, November 3rd, we were driving in a remote region in Utah, across the mountain range. And we were in um, Utah, and I heard this like Phil and Ben were talking about something was going on. Like, as soon as it happened, I felt it. And all I heard was Ben, like, there goes the tire. <laughs> there goes the tire. The trailer broke, and the tire flew off, and flew down the road. We all screamed, and um, I just started crying immediately. I woke up to the sound of a very loud pop. Our trailer wheel fell off, and it just rolled uh, down the street, and we almost died. Was that our wheel? Come to find out, it was. Can, can you not um, play videos with sound? Hey, said. Can you not play videos with sound just for a second? When I found out uh, because Evan hit me up, he called me. He said, uh, "We just lost a wheel." I said, "What? That's not true. Not y'all." Then I just saw a wheel come off and sparks started flying. <laughs> I look over and a wheel is just cruising on down the road, <laughs> and I was like, "Damn." We're on the side of some mountains. It's not a good look, you know. Luckily, two cars right behind me saw it rolling and were able to avoid it. We were able to pull over immediately and nobody got hurt. And I immediately went into action and jumped out the van, probably ran at least 15 to 20 feet. Went and found the tire about a half mile down the road. And this is serious, I'm dead serious. The tire had went half mile down the road, went through some cars, you know, it was crazy, man. That little joker just, you know, it, it was time, I guess, man. He, he gave up. I think the wheel bearing was just like, it's too much. Wes hit me, he punched me because he said, he said, stop crying. Stop crying, you always cry. I could hear Phil crying in the background. And so I knew it must have been real. I heard him say, out, Wes, don't punch me anymore. And I knew, I was like, he probably really did lose a wheel. You know, we all knew we were gonna die, so we took all the stuff from the trailer and put it in the van, and we had to, we had to just, you know, we had to discard the trailer, and it's gone. It's gone for good. <laughs> we put everything in the van. We got five guys in the two seats. We put everything in the van. We still made the, uh, we still made the gig. So we don't have a trailer anymore. We left it on the side of the road. We had to leave that sucker there. Gone forever. Bye. There's probably some ducks and llamas living in it right now. R.I.P. little trailer. So yeah, naturally, I started crying. I said, put Phil on the phone. I miss that trailer. It was the best trailer I ever had. <laughs> I'm itchy. We had many good times, you know. It, it would be really awesome if you got some friends and all you guys like us and want us to come to your city or chip in $20, $30, donate it to the Funky Knuckles so they can get a trailer and come kill us. We just went and played for two people last night, the other night, and we played our butts off. Buy us a trailer! <laughs> Our van is about as good as this pizza. Gone. Powerful words. Powerful words from a powerful man. The van is functioning at 30%. <laughs> and that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> this pizza is delicious. What about the end? Oh, we need a new van. <laughs> We're gonna need hundred thousand dollars. Our van sounds funny all the time. We're not actually sure if we're gonna make the gig. That's really emotional. We're not sure whether or not we're gonna get home. The van needs a new... The van needs a new van. <laughs> you know, we just need a couple hundred thousand dollars. We just need a couple, you know. We did, we're, we're trying to raise four hundred thousand dollars. All the tubes inside the van are just 
they're all tangled up. Fuel engagement floaters are, they're all dinged up inside. It won't reverse anymore. The reverse is just gone. So we need a new van that can go backwards as well as forwards. We need a van with a rocket launcher so we can move people out of our way. We need a new trailer. We need a new van. We need a new everything. We need, a, we need an air fryer in our van so that we can eat healthy and eat fried food. And we can't do it alone because no one likes jazz. Go to thefunkyknuckles.com where you can donate today and help feed a starving knuckle. Donate today. Donate today. We only need $500,000. Donate today.